Hi there. Today I'm going to share some information with you about depression. Depression is one of the topics that is hot in the news. Celebrities are coming out saying, hey, I suffer from depression. People are being more apt to talk about depression. Depression is around us and always has been. But what is it? Depression is one of those emotions that unless you have studied it, worked with it, or have had it, is not always easy to explain and understand. Ultimately, the unconscious mind, the body gets suppressed and there's usually a feeling of, of dread or lack of energy, sleepiness, lethargy. Sometimes it moves into worthlessness and powerlessness. The ability to not really think about the future, to not really know how to get up and get moving and get going again. Sometimes it's chemical and sometimes it's situational. More often than not, what I've found in my practice over the past 20 years is it's situational. From a scientific medical standpoint, there is no diagnosis, there's no medical test, there's no blood tests that you can actually take to fig figure out if you're clinically depressed or situationally depressed. There's oftentimes pen and paper tests that people take which will help them to identify that yes, you are depressed and oftentimes people then get put onto medication. I'm a believer in medication when it's needed. Here's a, a general aspect, not from a medical perspective, but from a, a psychological perspective and from an NLP perspective. If someone is on antidepressants and it is actually helping, it's boosting after three or four weeks, it's actually boosting their, their mood, it's boosting their ability to look into the future, boosting how they feel, then there probably is a chemical imbalance that those chemicals can help with. However, if the antidepressants are helping not very much, if it's putting somebody into a fog, if they're really not feeling bad, but they're also not feeling good, if it's a kind of flatlined emotions, there's a really good chance that, emo that they don't need to be on these, these medications. And being able to understand the difference is important because if it's something that is not clinical, then we can actually do something about it. So if it's not a medical issue, that your, your chemicals inside are not imbalanced, we can do something about it. What I've identified from an NLP perspective is there is a root cause for everything. And this anxiety, the depression that goes with it, or the depression that goes with anxiety or anxiety that goes with depression, is treatable. If you have a friend or a family member just saying feel better, doesn't help. Even when I meet somebody for the first time, uh, in a clinical standpoint, often my first question is, what can I help you with? What do you want? And we start to gain information about a desired state. And there's a really good chance that somebody who's depressed, especially extremely depressed, has no idea what they want. They know what they don't want. They don't want to feel down. They don't want to feel stuck. They don't want to feel frustrated anymore or helpless or worthless but they don't always have a desired state, what they want instead. And that's because that depression is holding it down. If you have a person in your family or in your life that is depressed, sometimes they can't help it, but there is hope. Being able to be aware of those signs of depression, that lethargy, the down, the not wanting to talk or not wanting to be around people, uh, just an overall sense of doom and gloom are signs of depression. Start asking people, are you okay? More and more people are being okay with talking about their feelings and talking about depression and understanding that help is there and that they can, they can ask for help and receive it. From, uh, again, an NLP perspective, when I'm working with people who are depressed, I'm generally working with them a little bit longer. The first bit is to figure out what they want and to get them out of that, that stuckness to figure out the desired state. Once we have an idea of the desired state, then we start to, and using some of those NLP tools, then we start to uncover the interferences, the blocks and barriers that hold somebody in that depressive state, ultimately moving them to their desired results and goals. 
Now, from a, a longer term perspective, I'm still talking about six to eight to maybe 10 or 12 sessions. So two or three months worth of NLP coaching in order to overcome possibly a lifetime of depression. So many people that I meet, um, you know, send me thank yous or emails or, or phone calls or letters later saying, you know, I was diagnosed with depression or I always had this and I thought I would always have this and I no longer do. So respect the model of the world of the person that you're in, in relationship with if they're showing signs of depression. Ask them if they're okay. Seek help them seek help or get assistance if necessary. Depression isn't the only thing they have to have. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this YouTube video, <laughs> and you know, come and watch some more. Thanks very much. I'll see you next time.